Uh, she has won Olympic gold twice and now Flintstone Clarissa Shields is getting ready for a huge fight in Detroit on Friday night. And look who's here. We're so honored to have her here with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for waking up early. I know you said you usually get up early to go for a run, but we're glad you're here. Thank you. You guys saved me from a morning run today. Okay. I appreciate okay. it. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll take the credit. Now you are a two-time Olympic gold medalist. You won your first Olympic gold at age 17 and the only person, male or female, to win Olympic gold back to back? Yes. That is incredible. And I know you recently went pro. What is it like that whole transition? Well, for right now, it's kind of pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Except for professional, we don't have on headgears. The gloves are a lot smaller. And just a lot more rules that we have to do, like going into the fight, like a lot of more tests, stuff I didn't, I, that I didn't have to do in the amateurs. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tell us about Friday. I mean, this is a, a huge deal. It's going to be on Showtime. Tell us who you're taking on and what we can expect. I'm finding a girl named Sylvia Sabatos from the country of Hungary. Mm -hmm. Her record is 15 and 8 with six knockouts. Uh, she's fought for a world title before five times. She lost, but she lost twice by split decision. I heard she's a very tough girl, and I heard she has a no quit attitude. Uh, I'm not too much worried about her, though. I was going to say, because no. your attitude, how would you describe it? <laughs> I'm like a Mike Tyson mixed with uh, Sugar Ray oh, Leonard, okay. so I got a lot going on. You've got your so. own attitude, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, fighting here in Detroit is something I haven't done since I was a kid, and I have so many family and friends coming out, and uh, people that's watched me since I was 17 and want to see me fight, so this is a big deal, and then I'm fighting for a title only my second fight, so this is great. That is huge, and of course, you're, you're from Flint, and to be able to do this in Detroit, like you said, you're gonna have so many friends and family close by. What does it mean to you to be on this kind of stage, you know, so close to your hometown? It means a lot, you know, with everything that Flint has going on, with yeah. the water crisis, and you know, um, with the murder rate and all that crazy stuff, I'm always the hope, you know, I'm always the good light. You know, whenever you hear about Chris, you hear about, where I came from and where I'm at now mm -hmm. and how I just keep exceeding my goals and going higher and higher and higher. And, and it kind of shows them that we don't have to limit ourselves because of where we're from. So I just love that I'm doing so well and that they're giving me the opportunity to fight on Showtime, the first woman to fight on Showtime main event, and it's on TV. So That is so huge. And I know you were talking about kind of the inspiration that you really are to a lot of people, especially young girls. What kind of inf advice would you give them? You know, they really look up to you. You've accomplished so much. I'm sure you're going to still do incredible things in the years to come. You know, what do you say to girls who, who come up to you and say, I have this dream. How do I achieve it? Well, I tell anybody who has a dream um, just to really, if God gave you a passion to do something, mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, if you feel something deep down in your heart every day that you want to do, that's what you should do. You're going to have people tell you that you shouldn't do it mm -hmm. and that it's not meant for you. I mean, like, there are girls that are kind of heavyset, but, they, but they're great models, but people tell them all the time that they shouldn't be models. There's somebody who can play basketball and sing, and the thing about me is I can box better than most men. So. Yeah. God blessed me to be a boxer, and you just have to really keep all the outsiders. You have to block them out and just stay focused on your task. And I think that um, if anybody who wants to be successful does that at whatever they feel, I think they'll be great. I think that's great advice. We do want to put the information out there, and this, again, is Friday night, right? Yes, Friday night, March 10th. Motor City Gold at MGM Grand Detroit. You can see the ticket information there if you want to get there and be there to cheer her on. And I understand this is a six-round middleweight bout. How long do you think this is going to go? I think I'm going to take her out the fourth. That's what I was thinking. You know. She's like, it's not going to go yeah. the entire You don't need all that time. I've, huh? been, I've, been, <laughs> I've been training too hard to, get in, to go in there and go all six. I think... Uh, I've been putting in a lot of road work and punching a lot of bags. I've been <laughs> sparring. I've been losing weight. I'm a little upset about that. <laughs> this girl has a serious problem. <laughs> so. You are going to be incredible. Thank you so much again Thank for you. coming in. We're really no rooting Thank for you. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> We're now going to send it over to Justin Rose for a look at your morning sports.